over the fence. I, should I go into town? I'm so scared. Ah, oh, dude, this place creeps me out. Woo! Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jade Monkey. We're back here in Day Z. And yes, this is 107. Uh, this is the next version after 106, and it's in experimental. So we're going to be checking out the changes. I'm um, actually playing on the PC right now, as those do c those changes do come out on the PC first. So we're going to be reading through the change list, and uh, most likely streaming this experimental version to see what kind of changes are coming for us on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox. Uh, fingers crossed, everybody. I really hope desync has been taken care of. Um, that's it's just it's so huge. Uh, it, you already know it's it's affecting us so badly in every aspect. I know we play a lot on. Oh no, the server she crashed. That's not a good sign. It is experimental. So uh, to go back to what I was saying, uh, you know, we've been playing a lot on Livonia, but the the desync uh, ghosted weapons and everything else has been affecting everybody. And it's just, uh, I really hope that we get to see those changes. And again, we'll be testing this out later. Uh, most likely, uh, what is today, Wednesday? Most likely later on tonight. Um, so yeah, we're going we're gonna to go check that out. So while we're waiting for the server to come back up, we might as well. This is a good segue. Okay, so this was posted today. Uh, okay, so I saw a lot of changes here, but we'll just kind of punch through the list here. Okay, so right away, repeater carbine. Nice. Uh, three, five, seven rounds. I can only assume that is for that weapon. 12 gauge rubber slugs. Interesting. Uh, I really want to get my hands on that. And here's another one. Amusement park locations throughout Chinaris. K. So the I survive as of right now hasn't been updated. So we don't know where those are at. I would assume they would be in populous areas. So stay tuned for that. We're going to try to pinpoint those. But again, those are only on Chinaris. So the OG map. So keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm um, going to bang through a lot of these here. Several types of inventory interactions related to item reservation. Not sure what that means. Client error causing re-encountering the weapon you dropped when it... Wait, I'm sorry. Re-encountering the weapon you dropped during a previous death. Also not sure it says fixed. Um, the map always used to open the top left corner. Now remembering the last open position. Mm. Disable jump out action for the backseat of passengers for the ADA. 4x4? Four four? What? Oh, it disabled. I thought I said they added them. Like, say what? Action circle was missing while dismantling the oven? Hmm. Okay. The player can no longer attach both suppressor and compensator to the SG-5K. Issue caused by starting an action with a different item in your hands between the client server? Hmm. We'll get through this and then we'll try to sign back in. An animation glitch related to throwing. Oh, that's where your character would lock. I remember that one. Okay. An animation... Oh, wait. No, we got that one. Water bonus from Wells was added to early... Added... Wait, wait, wait. Water bonus from Wells was added to early in the action. Oh, man. Our water glitch is fixed. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that's what that means. In fact, it would not cause bleeding as intended. Oof. Issues with doors in aircraft hangar, hospitals... Man, I, geez, I can't do a straight line. Hospital, school, and harbor crane. Interesting. Issues with sounds of doors at the fire station and big ATC buildings. I'm trying to think over in Livonia if we had that issue or not. Uh, issues with the ladder on construction site. Piles of wooden planks could spawn on top of each other. The big doorway of the sawmill had bullet collision. Uh, we didn't run into that one, but that's an interesting one. And speaking of which, when we go through some of these here, after I'm done with this list, we try to sign back in. Uh... I think one of the glitches we've noticed over on PlayStation and the Xbox explains a couple weird glitches. But anyways, object placement fixes for Enoch and Chinaris Plus terrains. Enoch is Livonia. Chinaris Plus is Chinaris. Um, okay. Maybe some of those like terrain things that would kind of be sitting up. Let me try to just sign back in while we're sitting here waiting. Okay, beautiful. A yellow heat comfort was given a penalty on health regeneration. So what, it would stop our health generation? Seems like that was fixed. Position of combination lock widget to LOD and textures. I don't know if that was a cosmetic thing. Maybe. The player would collide with individual ivy parts. Hmm. Denim skirt was showing the wrong color in first person. Usually we're sporting that sometimes. I never noticed it. In fact, it could not navigate into large gray shed. Interesting. That's now fixed. Construction light behaved weirdly when thrown. 
Oh, yeah, it was like top heavy. I remember. Okay, yeah, we did see that. It was not possible to empty liquid containers in interior spaces. That's nice. I have a lot of people ask me how do I get rid of it, and I always tell them to go outside, but nice to know that was fixed. Blue athletic sunglasses had no had a green texture. The thermometer would always display zero degrees. Man, why can't I highlight these? I'm terrible. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Night vision was darkened when entering the player's network bubble. So is that like a player detection? Anybody? That means we can use that now with MVGs. So you basically, it's a, it's a perimeter detection. That blows my mind. That's why it would do that. I thought it was, it was just overloaded with um, uh, geometry, right? Or, or just, you know, the memory was just overloaded. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> we're going to try to sign back in, I guess. It's not looking good for the servers. Large quantity numbers were not fully visible in hand slots, okay? Barrels with holes were still able to store liquids. Interesting. Here, let's see if we can't just join another one. Just so we can... I'm hoping we find something, like the amusement park locations. Something? Anything? Uh, I don't know if that means we can join it or not. Oh. Can we not play this? Apparently not. Okay, I guess we're back in the queue. Looks like we're back on the list, everybody. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, be sure to uh, drop a like on uh, the video if you're enjoying it, uh, if you found it helpful. Uh, don't forget, I do stream uh, a lot during the week, sometimes daily. Uh, I do post daily Daisy content in my Daisy Highlights playlist right here. And we're also doing a lot of Rust here coming up. Uh, we've got the beta stuff coming through, hopefully soon, fingers crossed. And we'll be posting daily Rust content over there, as we will be maining on console when Rust hits. Uh, a, 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 a public service announcement, ready? When Rust comes out for beta, we everything else stops. I mean, we'll still do our daily Daisy videos, but... It's going to be streaming it as long as humanly possible. And then we're going to be going back to a standard like Daisy Rust rotation. So just so you know, as soon as it hits, we're going to be doing it. So I'm really excited for it. Anyways, um, so yeah, I post daily there. An excellent reason to subscribe to the channel. Oh, uh, oh I can't. I'm already, I own the channel. Psh. Um, also have an Instagram, Live, if you want to follow us over there. Uh, also, I got the Twitter piece, jademonkey underscore yt. <laughs> Funny. I, I don't know if I'll get dinged for that, but it's funny. If you haven't seen it, it's hilarious. Uh, JadeMonkey underscore YT. And if you'd like to support the channel above and beyond, you can always click the join button here to get access to our custom emotes and also have uh, a loyalty badge next to your name during the live stream and also on any comment you place on any video on my channel. And another way to support the channel is through merch. And the link for that is in the description below. All those proceeds go back into the channel, so that's always appreciated. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Servers are eating it. Well, at least you know it's up. <laughs> That's so sad. We'll try to join this one, I guess. Let's go back to the list. I don't know what this means for us. Oh, it's just letting me load in. Okay. Back to experimental. All right. So changed. Global lighting changes. Ground lighting uh, addition brightness of day and night shadow. Contrast during clear weather. Rain visuals, darker clouds during overcast. Update the inventory attachment icons. Uh, missing icons added, some icons tweaked, and unused removed to free space uh, for more in the future. Okay. We Clean up of the car damage zones. Hmm. I'm not sure what that means. Hopefully it's performance related. Lower the amount of leaked coolant when the radiator is destroyed in the car. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's yellow, it seems like the water does go rather quickly, uh, the coolant being water. Remove the collision from barbed wire. Really? Like barbed wire on a fence or barbed wire we attach? Question mark. Not sure. Barbed wire now causes bleeding sources instead of shock damage. That makes sense, right? When we did that, that would totally... That's why people got knocked out. Okay, so these were interesting too. This, this might be a little building related. And again, these are things we're going to have to test. The fence and watchtower kits can be dismantled. And that's not it. Heavy items with collision are now dropped using physics. Interesting. Can we still do the wire mesh filled trick? Question mark? I don't know. It's awfully dark in here. Do I have like a different inventory? I do. That's interesting. <gasps> Shovel. I can never leave you behind. Okay. 
Okay, let's go. Um, rework of the combination lock destruction requires more time but in shorter cycles. Does that mean an increase for durability on the object? Question mark? And maybe it uses more durability on the weapon being attacked with or the fence being attacked on with? I don't know. You get what I'm saying. Is that a tweak to bases, thankfully, hopefully? Decrease, decreasing the range of the night light and changing its color, position, and brightness for better immersion. I'll have to see what that looks like. Fence gate opens and closes slower. Beautiful. Inventory view of the assault helmet visor. Not really sure. If we don't really use it that much, it's mostly just <laughs> MVGs and a helmet that doesn't muffle your speech because we use a lot of in-game. Uh, you receive one or more wooden logs when cutting down most trees. Um, question, right? Is this leading to a, like a, a lighter pass on the base building and construction? It's kind of dope. Base materials are now placed more clear. I don't know what that really means, but okay. Sort of the attachment icons of firearms. Interesting. Base building. Bell spitting action which would won't show up at all when it's being blocked, previously allowing allowed to execute without result. I don't that's such a oddly I I don't get that one. Uh just the logic behind obstacle checks when building base parts. Uh the map is now full screen. Uh remove the collision from tourist trail posts. Uh yeah, that's great. You know how many times I've tweaked those in a car? Too many. And these are related to uh, mod-based things here. And individual text might not be localized yet. Okay, so we'll get some weird English or whatever. So that's fine. So those are the changes for experimental version that's currently live Wednesday, uh, January, what is today, the 28th or the 29th, 2020. Um, if you're on the PlayStation, or today's the 29th. If you're on the PlayStation and you're asking yourself, hey, uh, my version says 108. It's actually... The version you're on right now is 106 internally, so this is going to be the next revision that comes up. My guess is um, we're going to have some more additions and tweaks throughout the coming days, weeks, and then it'll start to be transitioning to the actual port to the console, PlayStation 4 and Xbox, and then the process around that, which entails the certification process. And they both have to pass because they share the same database. So essentially we're we're on the same version. So most of you know that by now, but some I guess some people in the comments are like, hey man, what are you talking about? This is totally different. I'm like, it's really the same. <laughs> okay, so uh yeah, hopefully that helped out and we'll keep you guys informed with the changes that are coming through. We'll be doing this intermittently here on the PC, but we'll also be maining back on console. As you know, Livonia has been super hot for us. It's been so much fun, it's so hard to not play. It's it's so hard to pull ourselves away from Livonia official servers just because it's so much fun. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more of that. And Rust, and obviously keeping you guys informed on the changes. Uh, or even when the beta comes for us. So, uh, all things Daisy and Rust related. Uh, keep it locked in. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Love your bush. Uh. Oh, this is first person only, brother. I'm going to make a big old risk and go down and get some water at the well with a flare. Is that the worst idea you've ever heard? It might be. Oh, it's just like, man, I should use my weapon that I don't have. <laughs> Let me try to max out the water and see what's up. Hopefully we get to find it. Oh. Super scary at night, brother. Yeah, so nighttime is really, really dark. Bang, bang. 